Thanks for joining us on this Friday afternoon. We're getting a better idea of how schools here in central Indiana are going to handle positive cases of COVID-19. As we first told you last night, a student in Greenfield tested positive on the first day of school and then was sent home. Now this is probably going to happen again as schools reopen as numbers continue to climb. Look at this chart here, far right hand part of this chart. Indiana reported another 912 positive cases yesterday, that case in Greenfield among them. Our Rich Nye shows us how that school district responded and what parents think about it. Families received an email Thursday night telling them a student who was at Greenfield Central Junior High School on the first day of in-person classes tested positive for COVID-19. Seventh grader Maddie Moss was in class with the student but determined not to be a close contact. Initially she was freaked out I think because she had some friends that were called and asked to stay home because of it so I think it was just more scary for her but I feel as, as parents if we have those talks with our children, everything will be okay. And she went to school fine this morning. When the Hancock County Health Department was notified of a student with a positive COVID-19 test, they immediately notified the school district. And that started a response plan already put in place by the school district and the health department before classes began. The health department says parents and guardians of the students who had been exposed were notified by school officials. Those students will remain in quarantine according to CDC recommendations. But classes continued Friday at the school. Superintendent Dr. Harold Olin said in a statement, we are working hard in Greenfield Central to control the variables we can control in our schools. Our job becomes exponentially more difficult when students come to school without meeting the expectations of the self-screening tool we've asked families to complete each day. Todd O'Neill has two daughters in the school system, including an eighth grader at the junior high. I'm just very confident in our, our school leaders and I'm not afraid to send our kids to school, even though I know another case is going to pop up or two, but it's going to be dealt with. You just don't quit. You keep going and you improve on things. An early lesson on learning to live with the coronavirus.